Najma Manhas, an editor of the Global Village Space, a digital media outlet in Pakistan, said to deal with the Ukraine crisis, the West should realize that it cannot solve an issue through military means, but through talks and negotiations. In a recent interview with Xinhua, Manhas said that the North Atlantic Treaty Organization going eastwards towards the Russian border is seen by Russia as crossing the red line. The fact of the matter is that for many, many years, in fact decades, United States policymakers have been warned about going into and extending NATO so closely to Russia. Um, so for for Soviet Union or then the successor state of Russia, the actual red line was that NATO should not expand eastwards. So I think when you saw increasing movement eastward, the red line started to start going very, very red. The states of Eastern Europe, the majority of the states joined NATO, Estonia, Lithuania, all of these states uh, joined. And I think at this point, they, he realized that if NATO comes, Ukraine is on the border of Russia. So, and it's a huge state. It's the second largest state in Europe. So on that basis, I think Putin realized that this was too much if NATO actually entered Ukraine as well. The way the world sees it is that the West should actually realize that we cannot solve our issues through military means, but in fact, talks and negotiations is the way to go ahead. And the, and the way to go ahead is not to by stepping on people's red lines, but rather actually talking and discussing who does what.